Smiley Drug. Hello, welcome to Ask Marley Drug. My name is Monica and I'm a pharmacist who works with Marley Drug Pharmacy. So today we're going to talk about commonly asked questions I get from medication called sertraline, also known as Zoloft, because I'm going to share with you some common over-the-counter products you should avoid while taking sertraline. So what is sertraline and how does it work? Sertraline is a prescription medication that's part of a drug class of medications known as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, also commonly abbreviated as SSRIs. This medication works by increasing the levels of serotonin, which is an important chemical and neurotransmitter in your brain that's involved with regulating your mood. Sertraline is commonly used to treat major depressive disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, also known as OCD, as well as panic disorder, social anxiety disorder, and post-traumatic stress disorder. Sertraline is available in a tablet form with dosages that range between 25, 50, and 100 milligrams. It can be taken with or without food, but if it upsets your stomach, then it's best to take it with food. It's important to note that with this medication, it's important that you don't change your dose or suddenly stop taking sertraline without talking to your doctor first. Doing so can cause withdrawal symptoms such as nausea, headache, and sleeping problems. So follow your doctor's instructions to lower or taper your dose slowly over a period of time to stop this medication completely. It's also important to keep in mind that sertraline may take a while to work. Some report seeing benefits within two weeks, but in general, it can take about one to two months to feel the full effects. When is the best time to take sertraline? Sertraline can be taken at any time of the day. However, if this medication makes you feel tired, then it's best to take it in the evening, or if it makes you feel more awake, then it's best to take it in the morning. It's also recommended that you try to take this medication at the same time each day, as it's much easier to remember to take it this way. What if I miss a dose? If you miss a dose of this medication, take it as soon as possible. However, if it's almost time for your next dose, skip the missed dose and go back to your regular dosing schedule, but do not take a double dose. What are some common side effects of sertraline? Well, like all medications, sertraline has a few side effects. Some common side effects include dizziness, tiredness, or weakness, nausea, constipation, or indigestion, headache, anxiety, loss of bladder control, difficulty sleeping, including insomnia, feeling shaky, excessive sweating, decreased appetite, or decreased sex drive. So if you're experiencing any of these side effects, be sure to talk with your healthcare provider to determine whether a dose adjustment or switching to a different medication would be beneficial for you. So what are some serious side effects of sertraline? Some serious adverse effects of sertraline that you should be aware of include suicidal ideations or unusual changes in your mood or behavior, vision problems including eye pain, redness, or swelling, or serotonin syndrome which is caused by having an excessive amount of serotonin in your body. Symptoms of this may include fast heart rate, fever, sweating, twitching, hallucinations, muscle stiffness, or uncoordinated movements. Another serious side effect includes low blood sodium levels, including symptoms like nausea, extreme fatigue, headache, confusion, or problems thinking or with memory, or any unusual bleeding or bruising, or experiencing manic episodes, including racing thoughts, increased energy, unusual risk-taking behavior, extreme happiness, or being irritable or talkative. So if you're experiencing any of these serious side effects, immediately call your doctor and stop taking this medication. Can sertraline interact with other medications? Yes, it can. Sertraline may interact with certain medications or supplements. So always let your doctor and pharmacist know about any other medications or supplements, including prescribed and over-the-counter medications, vitamins and dietary or herbal supplements that you're currently taking. Some medications that sertraline may interact with include blood thinners, such as warfarin, you should also avoid using this medication within 14 days before or 14 days after you've used the monoamine oxidase inhibitor, including phenylzine, linezolid, or risagiline. Avoid using over-the-counter medications such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications, including aspirin or ibuprofen, which may cause additional unwanted side effects. So before taking any anti-inflammatory drug, speak with your healthcare provider before. There's lots of information on sertraline, depression, anxiety, and other mental health conditions on our website. 
so check out our blogs in the links below. You could also purchase Sertraline along with other FDA-approved medications from our website. We offer free home delivery and competitive prices. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.